Και έχει έχει παντομόνιο μράδιο σοου. Direct note pin. Φτόρ τέικ. Βιδεϊκή. Προβιωτική. Νερισνή μα. Είναι σωστήτηση. Εξκλουσίβνο, η μορφή με το να πράγμα ούβα. Σάκαμε το κύπο κάναμ. Εδμάιρ, είναι η ζήνη ως προδουτσέντ. Από αυτό το point, θα switch in English. Guys, I'm, we're so happy to have you here. This is the second time that I'm saying this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we cannot fake it. Yeah, we, we, we cannot, cannot fake it. it. We, we, like, we, we, we did this and I'm not going to repeat myself with all those things, but we are going to repeat the things that matter, of course. Yeah. But yeah, this is the first time that in, in like five years, four years actually of like filming and doing this thing, <laughs> this is the first time that we've had this issue. Uh, so hopefully it's the, the camera is going to... Uh, record throughout the the whole interview, but uh, hi. hi, welcome, w- welcome to first and foremost Macedonia Pin Conference, and then to our show. How are you guys? How are you feeling? We're very excited. It's been amazing these days, and thank you for having us. It's an honor. Yeah, it's an honor for us too. Uh, if uh, I I just wanted to, hey, it, it feels so weird. Yeah, it feels, myself. it feels weird yeah. to me as well. So I will try to fake it a little bit. <laughs> try to, yeah, yeah. to try to repeat some of the stuff that you already said. At, but le- at least like the ice is broken, you know. Yes. Like na- now now the conversation feels more and more natural. So we we yeah. we can like sit back, relax, and just talk and and have fi- fun with it, you know. Um, it's it's a funny story. How how are we all sitting here at this table? Because. Uh, Actually, you you were the one that reached out to us. I don't know how, but thank you for doing that. <laughs> like in these in these four or five years of like existing, it's the first time that it's happened. Somebody like an artist to reach out to us for us to have an interview with them. So thank you for doing that because it hasn't been done before. Well, thank you for noticing and thank you for yeah just thank just you, for reaching thank out. Thank you for your podcast and doing this show. If not, I wouldn't notice it. So and I was like, wow, this. It's cool. I, I would love to be a part of that. How did you see that? On the program or? Yeah, I don't remember. Like, uh, I think I I searched like podcast in Skopje or maybe at PIN. I saw something. I don't know. I don't remember uh, specifically, but I remember seeing the show and I was like, okay. But I didn't know you were coming here at PIN. Aha. Uh-huh. So maybe you search for something like hip hop podcast or yeah. urban podcast or something. Something like that. I don't remember, but I I knew afterwards that you were coming tomorrow at Pin. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay, that's interesting because first of all, Trecha, we had some people reach out to us, but more local guys and people that we know personally. Yeah. yeah. This was the more international case, and we don't we didn't know each other before this, so that's why it's. It's important for us, and it means it means a lot to us, to be honest, because we do this for for the culture, for the love, and we we won't be we are happy when someone recognizes that. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, and yeah. I'm so happy, and I'm so, and I want to big you up for reaching out and for being the way you are, because we are very communicative and very proactive, and all of that, and. Maybe I should say this at the end of the interview, but I will say it now. Uh, I, w- I wish you a lot of luck with, oh. with the career and with everything because we, we miss more people, at, at least in Macedonia, we miss the people caring about this and being proactive and networking and you know pushing their, not just the music, but their, their story as a, as a person, first of all, and then as music and then everything else, as a friend and everything else. So, yeah. yes very good for you to do that and please continue to yeah, do I'm it. I'm really glad I, I messaged you. <laughs> please continue to do it and yeah. not just with the messaging but with the networking in real life and everything else and yeah, I wish you a lot of luck with the music because the music is also good. Thank you. But we need to introduce now uh, once again so yeah. this is Admire, okay. uh, a Spanish girl from, from Barcelona, singer that is doing more like reggaeton, Afrobeats, dance call music, which is very close to us. And it's the first time in to, to have something like this on PIN, which is also also a, a very big thing for, for us and for PIN as well, because we do this the third year in Pandemonium, as, as Pandemonium Radio Show from PIN, but we visit PIN conference since since the beginning. So we, we had never had an artist like this on PIN, and it's very good to have you. So 
Welcome once again and please introduce yourself and wakes the producer. Okay, I'm Admire. I'm a singer. I produce also, I dance and I I direct the project and I do Afrobeats, dance hall, just good vibes, but I also want to find my sound, my experimental sound and yeah, expect everything from Admire and I will surprise, I think, the audience. Uh, we're creating an album now. He's my producer slash DJ slash technic uh, sound engineer and he's Wakes. And yeah, we're producing now with Ari Safu that we don't want to Ari, well, but him. forget about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He should Staying be here. true. Staying true. Yeah, he should be here when we come back because we obviously yes. gonna come back with the dancers and hopefully with a festival with, um, I don't know. Yes, full production, full show, yes. Yeah, yeah, with a full team. Uh, he will be here and maybe if the album is already done, we can talk about the album and, and yeah, so shout out to Arisafu. And yeah, now currently we're um, working on, on creating the album and yeah, that's it. Well done, well done. Uh, I'm so happy that we are here to talk and we want to talk about the music as well. So tell us more about your music, the things that you do, the, uh, your career, your vision about yourself as a musician. I see myself like as a creator because um, I obviously like music, but I also dance and through videos, music videos, I, I, I love to think about them and create the storyline and also the clothes, everything. I, I just love everything that is involved with art and I don't know, the project. So um, I love Afrobeats rhythm, um, reggaeton, just it, it's Latin. I don't know, it's, it gets inside and, and, yes. and you have to dance and it's, it's the vibe. So that's what I'm going for on the rhythm side. On the lyrics, uh, I just, I feel on and on more confident and more vulnerable ex exposing myself and talking about topics that matter like um, equality or um, art itself, like the connection with, between God or, I don't know, sp spirituality, because for me, art and creating is very spiritual. So yeah, trying to find myself for sure. I mean, the, throughout the whole life, as a person, first of all, you, tr you try to find yourself, and also as an artist, especially young artist that is doing music for less than five years, four, three, four years, yeah. it's it's normal to try to find your sound and to evolve all the time. And I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's very related the personal process and the creative process. It's the same, honestly. You was talking about the lyrics. Do you do do you write the lyrics yourself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How important is that to you, for you to be writing your own r lyrics as an artist? Because <laughs> here in Macedonia, I can like say that, like, that's the only issue that I have. Like with most uh, artists that do songs, they do not. I mean, not all the time, but they they do not write the lyrics. You know, somebody else is behind, and they are just using their vocals to sound good, mm. which is a go which is a whole different thing. But how important it is for you to write your own lyrics because I noticed something that you you, you said like you uh, refer to um, to yourself as a project so like is, is is admire like a project to you or is is that you you know yeah it's me it's me it's okay. a project involving like uh, a team and just more like uh, technical stuff yeah. For that, it's like a job or a project. But admire, it's me. It's it's my baby, my my life. So yeah. I, it's not a difference for me. But yeah, I think it's it's crucial for me to write my own songs. It's the only way I conceive mm, creating, because otherwise it doesn't make sense for me. It's I think another type of artist that it's not for me. Yeah, that's fair. I mean. Singing is more like performing, but yeah. writing the lyrics is the creative yeah. thing. Yeah, that you and the way I see um, art and the life I want to have is through my music and through my art, like experiencing for me. Not somebody telling me, you have to sing that. 
and what if I uh, I don't relate to that or yes. it's it's it doesn't make sense. Yes, I totally understand yeah. you and I agree with you because we come from the hip hop world where usually the songwriter is the rapper as well. So it's natural for us, even for me, to play the music that I like first. And and then sometimes you have to play something that you don't like that much. But if I don't like or don't connect to something, I don't play it at all at mm -hmm. no cost. So I want to uh, ask him as well. What is the process of creating the music with Admire? How do you do it? Do you sit in the studio? Do you have your own studio? Do you make the beats first and then she writes the lyrics or... How is the process, re and is the process the same for every song, or you have different different types of, of creation of the music? In Spanish? <laughs> However you want. Thank you. Um, let's make like little phrases, because otherwise it's You can both long. answer this question, okay. but I want to yeah, yeah. include him as well. Um, dependiendo del artista, it depends to the artist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you can do uh, it, uh, whatever you want, uh, man. Uh, pero cuando trabajamos eh, Ari y yo con, con Mirella, eh, Mirella siempre tiene todas las facetas muy controladas. Um, Your when name is Mirella? Yeah. Mirella? Uh, admire. Mirella, yeah. Admire. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we are in the studio with Ari and Mark, I tend to have um, a lot of things covered because I produce as well with them. Aha, okay. So, so how do you... Uh, Let's say, how do you start working on a song? Um, claro, um, normalmente siempre partimos a partir de una, de una idea referencia, pero no referencia musical, que también, sino una idea, un ritmo, una, una emoción, um, teniendo como objetivo justamente eso, uh, a partir de una emoción, crear emociones a los oyentes. I tend to go to the studio with an idea like, or a feeling. Like, I want to talk about, I don't know, somebody dumped me. Uh, so I want to talk about that. Or, I don't know, uh, a feeling. And then I explain to them. Ah. And we try to convert that feeling into music. Por eso creo que necesitamos tener mucha con conexión, cosa que eh, últimamente estamos teniendo bastante y nos ayuda mucho el proyecto. Y a partir de aquí, eh, pues nos juntamos en el estudio y pocas veces tenemos la instrumental hecha antes de la letra o, o al revés. O sea, es todo en conjunto. Sí, yeah. we, we create all the bass and the lyrics like at the same time. Ok. It's not like we do the um, bass. Well, may, sometimes we do the bass and then I go home, I write, because I write alone. Ah, ok. I don't write at the studio. Um, and then I come back another day and I'm like, okay, let me show you what I write. And then we change the, um, the bass or the chord or the, um, I don't know, the rhythm. To, and we build the song um, throughout the process. Algo que, en definitiva, algo que me gusta mucho que me dijiste un día es que me gusta que la canción esté viva. Entonces, nunca terminamos un proyecto, lo acabamos abandonando. Mm -hmm. Entonces, pues eso. Um, He said that something I, I told him one day that he really liked is that the, um, the song is always alive and you don't finish it, you just um, let it be. Let it be. Uh -huh. you, you just don't work on it anymore, but it's always, you can always uh, do another demo or another touch, but uh, you have to know when it's already done. And, but the, the song has to be alive, you have to change it, you have to... Um, I'm not... Um, Like I go on the studio and I do a song in one afternoon. No, I like to leave it for a day and then listen another one and change something. I don't know because I change a lot. Like in a week, I, I go for a lot of, of of motions. So the song should transform and and go with me. If not, I I cannot relate anymore with that because it's not me anymore. It's very Makes interesting. Sense? No, no, yeah, it's, it's it's very interesting that you do it like that. And I want I want to ask you about: Do you, when you write the song, do you also create the melody uh, while <laughs> writing, or you write as as like a poem, and then you, and then you fi try to find the melody? Or I try um, not to have like formulas. Oh, yes, okay. Because I try to um, stimulate myself as an artist. Because otherwise, it's boring. It's like an office job. You know what to. Do in order to get um, a product. Yeah. For me, art is not like that. For me, it's about the emotions and being present in the moment and listening to the angels and and whatever is happening and just like being a channel. And I try to 
be as, as open-minded as possible and, and go. Sometimes I write a poem and then with this poem, I, 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 oh, I like this, this phrase or this word and this word links me to another and I write then or some melody came up. I don't know, it's very abstract. And organic at the same time. Oh. Yeah, I want to leave it that way because if not, it's, it's boring. And it's like a, a machine. And I'm not a machine. Yeah, I can respect that because whenever you're starting, that's the only way to go. You know, because you, as you said, with this new album, and, and we're going to come to it, but with this new album, you're trying to find your sound. So I wanted to ask the stuff that we've, been, we, we've listened and... Uh, we, we already talked about this in the first time whenever the camera <laughs> wasn't working, so we had to redo everything. But we, uh, in the first 10 minutes that we already had recorded, we did like a speed run through it. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't like follow up everything that we talked about. But um, we spoke about th this being your first time um, out, uh, out of the country and performing out of Spain. So how does the music translate here uh, rather than Spain like in comparison with Spain how, how does it how, how does how how did the people well how did the show went yesterday so like how did the people respond to the music that you uh, that you create on a well I'm surprised about um, the people um, especially youth of Skopje they there were some girls that approached me and were like we really like the vibe and and what we talked about <laughs> earlier <laughs> that uh, Nella chose um, admire to come and it's like a very innovative um, yeah, it's a new bed. thing for pin yeah. yeah it's a new thing for for pin and i'm really honored to be that and yeah i think um the people really love the show. They were warm, not as warm as Barcelona, obviously. But of that's, mm, it has to be that way because it's in another country. They don't understand the lyrics. But I think they understood the vibe and they got to know me because I talk a lot on, on now and <laughs> in the concerts. <laughs> you talk in the show as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love to connect with the audience and... Because it's it's um, the the only thing I have that it's real and and I get to see the people. Otherwise, it's on the phone and it's online. It's it's not it's not really real. Yes. So when I perform, it's the only thing that I, I can see the people. I can see their faces and and they enjoy the music. And I'm like, wow, this thing that we created on the studio. Now they're vibing it, so it, it's, it makes my heart pop. That's what music all about. Yes, and, really. it's, yeah, ve and, it's, very, and it's very interesting that it's your first show outside uh, Spain. Mm -hmm. And you said that you have been in Skopje and uh, Macedonia in, in, in a special place in the heart because of this. Yeah, it's uh, our first time leaving Spain to perform. And I will remember all my life these past two days because uh, and yesterday on um to the party was amazing and the vibes yeah. were we thought we were in barcelona <laughs> <laughs> and the djs shout out to the djs from switzerland that were amazing music, too. amazing people yeah you you made us feel like at home and and we really connect with you the party and the project you're doing also Thank you so much. Thank you for being here and thank you for hanging out with us and talking a lot. We want to talk more if you have time. You are good? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask, um, the, the one thing that I saw uh, was that you uh, were a part of Primavera as well. Oh, yeah. Which is like one of the festi one of the go-to festivals uh, probably in Europe. In the world. Yeah, yeah, and in the world. The, the, the wave that they've been having like throughout the past two, three years uh the like the artists that they have pulled and the they have they've had it's crazy so how did that end up happening um what was the process like did you get got invited or uh, is it was it the same as spin where you had to apply yourself to that situation where you can become a part of the 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 the, the lineup for for primavera and what, what what was the what was the experience like uh to perform at a, such a huge festival um, we perform at Primavera Pro, 
that it's maybe similar to PIN conference, but Primavera, it's not the festival, it's like uh, the professional festival. I don't oh, know. Something okay. like conference, yeah, like yeah. showcase. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So it it was uh, well, it was amazing because Primavera and and they treat us really good. And in, Ra in Raval, in center of uh, Barcelona. yeah, in the center of Barcelona, and it it's a complex how I ended up there because um, last year they gave uh, a, a scholarship, one, like a, I won a prize. Okay. They selected me. Um, to have like a full year of a, um, of a music business master, the students worked on me. Uh, they, oh, like, okay. They learned through my project and they could like uh, um, learn how to do a song, do a video clip and then do a, a live show. And I was like the the, the artist that they worked yeah. on. Okay, yeah. And this um, master's degree is sponsored by Primavera and Sony nice. Music and YouTube. So they were partners, and we um, the last f mm, phase of these masters it was to have a live show in Sala Polo, that is like a huge uh, venue in in Barcelona, and then. Uh, booker, bookers of Primavera came to the show and we were five artists that were granted this scholarship and they selected one to to act in the Primavera and they selected me. Bravo. Yeah, that's a yeah. journey. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, that's so a it's, journey. It's been like step by step mm, gaining like, okay, now some scholarship, now da, 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 doing a lot of work. Like I... I, I I work my ass off really, like nonstop, and he can tell. Woke <laughs> <Look> up, <laughs> yeah. And and eventually things come. Yeah, when oh, you yeah. work hard. Yeah. yeah. When you work hard, you get lucky. You know. You know what yeah. they say. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's not even luck. It's yeah. it's, it's something that you, uh, totally. you 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 get. You know. You uh, earn it. But yeah, we we applaud you for that because, you know, as, in, in at least in our experience, like most of the artists. Uh, become tired, you know, and not seeing results, but seeing you and pushing through it, like it, it, it's really, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm glad that you, you were able to, to go through that path so you can have all of this. So uh, let's, talk about the, let's talk about the music, what's next? Uh, I've seen that you have a bunch of... Sorry, first I want to ask you, before we go, what's next? What's behind you? How, how many songs do you have? Mm -hmm. yeah. How is the reaction? Uh, do they get plays by DJs in Barcelona? Do mm. you have your own events that you promote the music? Uh, how do you, how have you promoted the music so far? Do you use TikTok? Do you use? We have some things that we can talk yeah. for the for the okay. stuff before, so yeah. that has happened already, and then we can talk about the future. The I think I products. have like ten singles, um, and yeah, so far so good, and <laughs> every single. Up, uh, upscales the Upgrade, other okay. upgrades, yeah, and and I'm really proud of all of them. Obviously, last ones are my the, the ones I relate the most. Last del Mediterraneo, that was like the summer single, went amazing on YouTube. It had like mm, a lot. Must, of you must listen to what you must listen to. Yeah, you must yes. listen to Las del Mediterráneo. Esa gente que, mm, it's the first single of the album, like the first release, and it also went really good. Last month, they gave the music video an award, like Best National Video Clip. Oh, really? Yeah, and Bravo. it was amazing. Nice. We, have to, we have to watch it. I haven't, I haven't yeah. seen it. You we're, will be we're, surprised. We're not that big guy. Uh, we're not that big on watching music videos. Oh. Yes. We're <laughs> like <Yeah>. we. <laughs> we're yeah, we're purists in a way. Like we we like audio and like the song by itself. Uh, but yeah, we we will have to get back and just watch the watch the music videos as well. Because it seems and you talk about them a lot, so I would assume that you spend a lot of time on them as well. Yeah. It's not just about the music for you, it's just about, it's, it's just translating everything into a music video totally. as well. For, I think you can get to know me better if you watch my videos, because um, I, I express myself through them a lot. So you can get the whole picture with the music videos also. Have you worked with her on, on, on all of the singles so far? El, el concierto de la Apolo fue el primer concierto que hicimos juntos. Yeah. 
Uh -huh, the, first the, the first concert we did together, it was the Apollo, it was on May. Uh -huh, so, so you, you connected now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you He's the last um, addition to the team. <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. And how did you connect? Do you do you know each other or before? Yes. Or? Um, through Arisafu. Through Arisafu. Uh, yo trabajo de profesor en Sono Pro en Barcelona, una academia privada de sonido. He's a t music producer, a teacher. Oh, nice. Y Arisafu estaba allí como alumno, colaborando con ella. Arisafu was uh, a student there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And we went there because uh, we you can rent the studios and we went there to produce and he saw us hmm. and me, really like me explicaron el proyecto de Apollo donde tenían que tirar tanto la música como las proyecciones a la vez visuals and we needed some uh, DJ for the show because Ari is more a producer and and he saw the opportunity and was like okay i think you need that i can do that Bravo, so sí. let's collab and yeah. and i think you also like the music and y me sumé al proyecto y empezamos a yeah and he joined us so you are a dj as well what or dj for live shows only do you yeah. do you play music as a dj as a, uh, like we do like i do or no quien sí que es un buen DJ es Arisafo. Yeah, Ari, Arisafo, the other producer, he's a DJ. Ah, okay. Yo soy un, una rata de estudio <laughs> eh, y técnico de sonido y esta es mi especialidad. He's more like a live DJ. Okay. Tech, slash uh -huh. sound tech. Yeah, yes, okay. So you mean you mean more like with the Ableton and stuff with the. Yeah. Yes, okay. An, an, an studio producer and sound technician and uh, nice nice all. we talked uh, yesterday about some events that you go to and that you do in barcelona mm -hmm. which are urban events with yeah. afrobeats hip-hop r &B, music mm -hmm. can you tell us more about it and do you get inspired by those events and do the djs and your friends your colleagues play your music on those types of events mm -hmm. do they play it yeah uh, there's a party called mix shake in salapolo on thursday and the DJs liked my songs and they played it and it was like a pinch me moment. I was partying and, and then I listened to my song and I was like, wait a minute. My friends noticed it before me because I was like, yeah, I know the song. And they were like, but it's you. And <laughs> of course you know the song. Yeah. And they were like, oh, wait, no way. And we were like on backstage and, and I hugged the DJ like, thank you so much. It's an honor. And there's another party that it's called Nalgas that Arisafo is a part of that, and and I think there it's like very similar to what you're doing, and I think we could connect. Yes, for sure. We would, we would love to. Yes. We could link. Um, you should check it out because it's really good, and I think it's the best party in in Barcelona now, and and yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can connect. Maybe they can come and play. We can go and play. For sure, and, totally. the, and you know, extend this connection that we already built, right, which I think is is very good connection. If yeah, because from Barcelona, um, we see the Balkans, and I don't think that you can listen to reggaeton or Afrobeat. You know, I, I don't know what you're listening to, but I, I didn't expect to be on the club yesterday and ha have that fun and be and feel like at home or feel like okay i'm at sala polo oh no i'm a Skopje. okay why is it the same so thank you for creating yeah. that vibe and and glad really honor it because it, it's not easy i'm glad to hear that it's a big compliment for us especially last night was very crazy we, we did a pin after party in stanitz at 26 and we had fund 500 and uh dj curl from switzerland who I think will sit with us tomorrow as well here to talk about the show and everything else. And I'm so glad that you enjoy the, enjoy the night because we work very hard on that night. It's called Sp Spicy Thursdays at Stanitsa 26 and we are proud to have it, proud to have you as a guest and also it's very good when you hear a compliment. Yeah. Compliment like, like eh, that. Just, bueno, solo quería añadir que estoy muy agradecido con PIN Conference <laughs> que, de la oportunidad porque es muy importante para nosotros. Con Irie, con todos, sus compañeros, eh, el podcast, con todos, de, porque nos han tratado como en casa. Uh -huh. Estamos muy contentos. Yo me quedaría aquí un tiempo más, <laughs> que tenemos que irnos. Y uh, esperamos. Saying, I understand something, yeah. but not knowledge. Like, yeah. He's really honored to be here at Pin and, and you guys as well. You treat us like, uh, like family, and, and we cannot, we, we would stay longer. 
Hey, there's always next time. Yeah. yeah for sure, next time. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And and we cannot wait to come back and you meet all the team, the dancers and everything. And we have a blast uh, uh, here in Skopje. Yeah, for sure. So for the end, I think it's good if we talk about the new album, the upcoming mm, project. Yeah, sure. yeah. And what's next I will for try you? to be. <laughs> no, no, please, yeah, please talk as, as much yes. as you want. You, uh, no, we're no, not no. pressuring you into into saying things that you wouldn't want to share. But uh, how's that coming along? Uh, how's that coming along? And uh, how's it? Uh, I, I, I wanted to ask you one thing because you you said um, how big of a part uh, music videos to you are. So how do you translate that into an album? How long would the album be? And what about the music that's not gonna have music videos for them? Because as an album, you have like two, three singles. One comes or two, two come before the album and then one more you run at like, let's say two, three months after you release the album. So how's that gonna translate? Is it, is it any different for you to create the music for the new album um, creatively and from a uh, from like a producer standpoint where you don't have to think about like a music video for it. Mm -hmm. Is it any any different than a single would? Yeah, totally. It's totally different because now I'm thinking of um, uh, uh, 13 songs uh, and not just one. So it's like a trip and I'm thinking more globally, not just one song, one video. It's more easy and more short. Now it's like what I want to talk about, what's the intention behind it, uh, it's more deep. So I have to work harder to, to make sense, to have something meaningful and, and special. So the work is, is uh, a tougher. But music videos, um, I think it's, it, it just comes naturally. I'm tempted to to do like a full movie of the 13 th songs, but I know it's too much work. So I maybe do like three, four videos, like good videos, and then some visuals or something like behind the scenes, documentaries, just assets to complement all the work. And I just want people to understand the story behind it and and what I'm talking about, the feelings. So I, I will push that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you, yeah that's, you know what that, you're doing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You you sound like you know what you're doing and how do you want to take it? Because most most of the times, like people do uh, do the work, but then forget about the the vision. So they they they'll produce a song and they and they will just leave it be, you yeah. know, and they do not know what to do with it. Uh, but this is a whole different perspective, and I think like other artists will be, uh, this will be very helpful to them. At least just so they can see like an example of what you can do with your music because it's your product. You take care of it and you, you are the ones, uh, you are the only one that can push it. Totally. I, I want to encourage like young um, musicians from Macedonia yes. or anything, anywhere um, to this, to have their vision and just work for it and believe in, in that, because that's what will uh, lead, lead you to creating something different or, I don't know, something for you that it's meaningful. If not, you'll get tired and you, you'll give up, because yeah. the, the motor, it's not there. So when you have that passion, it's halfway done. So believe in it. It's so <laughs> true, it's so true. Big up, big up once again. I really like the your work ethic. I mean, I, I, know, I don't know your work ethic, but you sound like like oh. you like you have it, mm -hmm. and also the the whole crew, as well. And you have the vision, you have the bigger picture in mind, and I think yeah. it's it's very important if you want to do, especially when you want to do something like a conceptual album, because you mentioned you mentioned conceptual album. Yeah. What kind? What is the story behind? The, what, what is the concept behind the, <gasps> the album? I mean. In no, short. no, it's complex, but it's um, the um, the main concept is the trumpets of the apocalypse. Okay. Of the the biblical. Okay. Yeah. Um, that the angels um, played the trumpets to announce the end of the world, and it's when you believed in God, then you. Um, you go to the new world. 
And this is like a metaphor uh, for that, just like believing in yourself and uh, surrendering to the angels. Because sometimes you're like, I want it that way, and I want it. And you're like in a wall, like hitting yourself, and it's like, okay, maybe this world has ended, but you have to look to the other side. And sometimes it's scary, but jump, and, and you will find another world, a new world, that sometimes it's better that the one you had like this and it's, it's not going uh, like, I, I don't know, I want this and I don't have it. And it's very like um, little boy, you know, like very immature. And when you accept that, like, okay, the trumpets are, I hear the trumpets, okay, I have to surrender to the angels, let it be and just, life happens and accept that whatever happens it would be the best thing for you I cannot wait to listen to yeah. the album and to read the uh, uh, and this I'm both, like this I'm very um, uh, introspective thing with Afrobeats Dembo Dancehall uh, <laughs> so it's it's a good mix you got dark look you got dark yes, yes, look no, it's, but, but she's right that it's, it's it, you cannot connect those those two things, but that's why I want to hear how I it's going to sound big, to be danceable at the same time, but still have a mess, deeper message like mm -hmm. that. We, Esa gente yeah. que, mm, it's the first single, and I think it really sums up uh, this idea. What does it mean? Esa gente, the people are... Esa gente que, mm, is like this type of uh, that, that people, people that, that mm, mm, uh -huh. mm, is like an expression that I use a lot, and I didn't know, I, I just use it. It's like, mm, Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, that it's something that it's not vibing with you. You don't know if yes or no. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, it's like mm, something's off with you. <laughs> so I talk about these people that uh, work a lot and uh, criticize me like, oh, you're an artist. Oof. Oh my God. And I'm like, what the fuck? You, maybe you're working all day. You don't question anything about your life and you're questioning me that I really question my life and everything that I do. So, mm, fuck you and mm. so. Nice. I think we can finish, nice. finish, finish, <laughs> yeah. finish with this, yeah. yeah I, 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 wanted, I wanted to ask one more thing before okay. we go, if, if it's not a problem. Sure. What, are the, what are the influences that you are bringing into the music? So, how, how is it, uh, what is the music that you listen to, you and your crew, what do you listen to in the studio? Uh, and if, if, if those sounds do make an impact on you and then influence you in the way you produce music and the way you do music as well. Totally. Now I'm listening, my main references are Rosalia and Beyonce. Uh, but now I'm listening a lot to Ralphie True, Ruzowski, that are Spanish um, producers and singers. And Jude Line also, that is Spanish, mostly Spanish, honestly. And yeah, experimental music and also Afro, Rema, uh, all the typical Bernabeu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are like mm, uh, obvious. But yeah, this. Nice, nice, yeah. I'm happy with that. Yes, I think we are good. Yeah. Thank you once again for Thank you guys. Uh, spending the time with us to talk. We are happy to have you, and I think we had a very good conversation here yeah. in the first one that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was the crap. camera yep. wasn't working. Let's do another one. And, <laughs> <laughs> and also yesterday in the club, and also yesterday here in, in front of uh, Mukatsa. So I'm honestly happy that we have met, and uh, we, we have spent the time together. And yeah, I w we wish you all the luck in the world. You Thank with the you. career and you with life and the sound engineering and the teaching, whatever you do, everything you do. So we hope to we stay in touch for sure and we hope to see you again yeah, here or Barcelona please. or somewhere else. Yeah, wherever the you world takes us. Yeah. Um, text me yes, and yes, we'll for meet. sure. For sure. Super. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Honor. Mama, te quiero. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs>